How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? I am Dave B. I sell Chevrolets at Schumacher Chevrolet of Livingston in Livingston, New Jersey. And today we are going to get right to the point and we're gonna start talking about the Chevrolet Malibu. Now these are 2022 model year cars. It's really the last sedan that Chevrolet offers as a product. And it's a great comparable vehicle if you're looking at a Toyota Camry, a Honda Accord, a Hyundai Sonata, a Nissan Altima, you know, all the mid-sized cars that are in the, in the marketplace. You know, why not check out a Chevy Malibu as well? This video is basically gonna show you some of the differences. We're gonna start with an LS, which is like our standard entry-level model. We're gonna go to an RS, which is a little sportier, a little, uh, a little more stylish as far as uh, trim. And then we're gonna go to an LT, which is like the most luxurious of the three. So let's get started here with the LS. This is like the standard equipment model, everything that you would get if you were looking at a 2022 Malibu with the exception of remote start. We actually did add remote start to this vehicle, which is $300, bringing MSRP with destination included to $24,795. Starting up front, you can notice you do have halogen projector beam headlights. You have a nice open style grill with some chrome accents and that gold Chevy bow tie, which you actually can get optional in black. Under the hood of all these Malibus, you can get a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. It's paired up with a CVT transmission, has 160 horsepower, 184 pound feet of torque, does zero to 60 in eight and a half seconds and has a fuel economy rating in the city of about 29 miles per gallon, highway 36, which is gonna average you somewhere around 32 miles per gallon and it runs on regular fuel. The Malibu is a front wheel drive vehicle and all the normal safety features that we're used to, such as traction control, stability management, ABS brakes, all that stuff is standard in all the Malibus. We're gonna talk a little bit about an additional safety package you can get on the Malibu as well in a little bit. Uh, but for now, as we check out the profile, you'll see that you do have 16 inch aluminum wheels with Firestone tires on the standard Malibu. You're gonna see some more basic trim as far as like mirrors, just black plastic. They're not body color like in the higher trim levels. Same thing with the antenna up on the roof. It's a little more uh, a little more basic. Again, this is a value model. This is the model that's gonna save you the most, uh, most amount of money. Uh, it does have keyless entry with remote start, which we mentioned earlier. With that, we can open up our trunk and you'll notice you do have uh, ample trunk space. You do have a pass through where you can pull these uh, tabs and the seats will fold flat just like this here so if you have longer items you can put them you know in your cargo area under the floor in the trunk here you will notice that you do have a compact spare tire jack and all the tools you would need to make a tire change now i'm a tall guy i'm six foot five about 212 pounds and as you can see in the back seat here i have plenty of room my legs aren't touching the seat in front my head's not touching the ceiling. Uh, you know, I'm comfortable. It's a nice seat. Uh, it is obviously a three passenger with latch system for car seats in the two outboard positions. Now, you may think, well, David, you could have moved this seat forward. I didn't. This seat is actually where I would be comfortable in a driving position. As you can see here in the front seat, plenty of room. Steering wheel is tilting and telescopic, so you can uh, adjust it and then lock it in place with the handle here. Also, the seat is actually uh, six-way manual adjustable. So you can move it forward and back, and with the levers on the side of the seat, you can actually adjust your height up and down and your recline. That is the same on the driver's seat as well as the passenger seat too. Once inside the driver's seat, you're gonna see everything is laid out very, very nicely, very easy to use. Obviously, all the basics, your power windows, your power mirrors, your door locks, your headlights, which are automatic, turn signals and high beams, you know, obviously in a place where we would expect it. Same with the wipers. You do have your intermittent settings, of course, and your uh, your windshield wash. On the steering wheel, you have uh, buttons on left and right hand side. Left hand side is gonna be cruise control on the front. And on the back side, there's actually uh, two toggles here where you could adjust radio stations, track titles, things like that, you know, functions for the radio. On the right hand side, you have Bluetooth buttons to answer and hang up phone calls. You have your driver information buttons, which you're gonna control all the, the vitals you see about the vehicle on this screen, you know, fuel ranges, things like tire pressures, oil life, you know, that sort of stuff. And on the back side of the steering wheel, on the right hand side, you can actually adjust your volume. So you can be able to raise and lower the volume of the radio right from the steering wheel. Climate control settings, very easy to operate. You have your fan speed, you have your temperature hot to cold, direction of where you want your air, an AC button, a recirculate button, and your front and rear defrost, you know, super easy to use. You have your hazards uh, button right here in the center next to your auto start stop deactivate button. Yes, this vehicle does turn the engine off when you're at red lights in situations like that where the vehicle is stopped to save fuel and also stop pollution. Uh, that button will deactivate it just like that. Radio system, very easy to use. It's all touchscreen. Anything you see is a button. So you can adjust from AM to FM to Bluetooth. You can actually pair up to, I think, five smartphones to the vehicle. 
and it is gonna be wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So when you have your smartphone in the vehicle, as soon as it pairs up on the screen, you're gonna be able to use your uh, phone and also your phone's navigation system, which makes things very nice and easy and very seamless. Now, just in case you wanna plug your phone in, you do have USB-C, USB auxiliary, and a 12 volt jack here up in the front of your console, along with a little uh, place to maybe put your phone, a couple of cup holders, a spot for the key fob, since it is push button start. Nice amount of storage in the center console here, and a standard glove box. Like all vehicles, we do have a backup camera on our eight inch color touchscreen radio. It's a nice clear image. It also has your guidelines that are gonna move with the steering wheel as you turn it to kind of give you a good idea of where you're headed. This vehicle does come equipped with the OnStar system, which is a subscription service, which you can elect to take advantage of. There is a Wi-Fi hotspot as part of that subscription service, if you'd like. And you also have 10 airbags in this vehicle. So you have dual front, front knee airbags, seat mounted side airbags, and head curtain airbags for both front and rear passengers. So basically everywhere you look, there's an airbag. Now the one thing this vehicle does not have is driver confidence one and two, which can be added. So for $1,095, you can add the new suite of safety features that General Motors offers, which is your automatic emergency braking, pedestrian braking, lane keep assist, lane departure warning, side blind zone alert, rear park assist, cross traffic alert, just a whole bunch of great safety features that can be added. Now, you might think that a lot of these features should be standard. In this case, the way I see it, maybe you don't need those features. Maybe you're driving a car that doesn't have any of that and you would rather save the $1,000 uh, and just keep driving a car like the one you currently have versus getting some of this new technology that is offered. Now, if you like what you saw with the Malibu LS, the standard model, but you want something a little bit more, you can go to an RS. The RS, just think sportiness. Now, we added the same uh, option, the remote start to this model like we did in the last one. So the MSRP of the RS model with just remote start added and including destination, $25,795. So basically for $1,000 more, you can go from the standard LS model to the RS and get the following items. One thing you're gonna notice right off the bat, you have the black Chevy bow tie, you have black inserts in the grill rather than the chrome. You're also gonna get a nice set of black with machine silver finished 18 inch wheels with continental tires. On the side of the vehicle, you'll notice the Malibu badges are gonna be black rather than chrome like they were on the last one. And remember on the last car, we had the black plastic mirrors. Now we're going to body color. So in this case, they're white and that does also go along with the antenna. And on the back, you get a really nice spoiler. Again, black emblems, black bow tie, and then the red RS badge. Another cool feature with the RS model is you do actually get dual exhaust uh, outlets here. They're chrome uh, surrounds, they're integrated into the bumper, and if you look underneath, it is actually a, uh, a dual exhaust. At least the last couple feet of it is. Inside the RS model is pretty much exactly the same as the LS. You know, everything's gonna be uh, what we've learned so far, except this does have a powered driver's seat. And it also has little red RS accent and some red stitching on the shift boot and shift knob. Like we spoke about with the LS model, on the RS, you could also add driver confidence one and two. That's the suite of safety features uh, that can help assist you with things like emergency braking, lane keep assist, rear park sensors, cross traffic, all that sort of stuff. For $1,095, you can add it to the RS. Uh, you could also add it to what we're gonna talk about next, which is the LT model. Now, one of the things I'll do with my clients is I'll ask them certain options, right? Like, do you want leather interior? Do you want a sunroof? You know, certain items you could only get in certain models of the vehicle, right? So if you wanted leather or sunroof, it immediately eliminates the LS and the RS. You have to go to the LT, and that's exactly what we have here. Now again, everything we've been talking about in these different models is here with uh, with either an exception or a substitution. For instance, this does have LED daytime running lights where the other models did not have that. It also has LED tail lights, a specific 17 inch aluminum wheel with hand cooked tires. You're also gonna get on the LT body color mirrors that are also heated. Other than that, everything on the outside is pretty much what we've been looking at and talking about. The big difference is it'll be on the inside. Where you'll notice for $1,050, we did add the panoramic power sunroof. We also added the leather interior package, which is $1,590. As you kind of pan around and look at the inside, you'll notice everything looks very familiar. It looks just like the previous models we were in. It's just dressed up a little nicer. You do get some nicer trim work around your, your window switches on each door and where your cup holders are in the center uh, center console, you're also getting some more comfort features in this model. So it's leather, leather seats, so you do have heated seats for driver and passenger. You'll also notice here you have dual zone climate. So you have driver passenger settings for climate and a climate button on your screen where you could adjust it here as well. It's 
also automatic climate, so you can just set it for 60 or 70 degrees, whatever you want, and it'll keep the vehicle at that temperature. So that's some of the extra features that you'll see in the LT model when you step up to this level of trim. You can also notice on the steering wheel, we have a couple extra buttons here. So we have lane departure warning, lane keep assist. We have forward collision alert, which will give us our gap adjustment here on the screen. You'll see this little A here on our turn signal stock. That's for IntelliBeam, basically automatic high beams. The high beams will cycle on and off based on the camera seeing vehicles either coming at you or you driving behind somebody. Really nice feature for dark areas. This vehicle also has the rear park sensors with cross traffic alert, the side blind zone alert, the little symbols in the mirror that light up when someone's in your blind spot, automatic emergency braking, pedestrian braking, all the features we were talking about earlier in that driver confidence one and two package because we did add it to this vehicle. Again, not standard equipment. If you choose not to get it, you can save a couple bucks. If you want to add it, $1,095 will get it uh, added to the vehicle for you. With all the features added to this particular Malibu LT, uh, MSRP is $31,630. That does include the destination charge that you see there on the window sticker. It's important to note for 2022, there is also a Premier model. Now, the big difference with the Premier model is you can get adaptive cruise control. It gives you a two liter turbo engine. Now, I don't have one of those in stock, so I can't talk about it right now. And if you want one, you better find one as a 2022, because for 2023, the Premier model is no more. That two liter engine is no more. So 2023 model year is gonna look very similar to this. They're gonna have a one LT and a two LT. A one LT will be cloth interior only. If you want leather, you're gonna have to go to a two LT. So as the 23 models come out, I'll make a future video about that. I hope this video helped you out, gave you a little insight about the Chevrolet Malibu lineup here. If you have any questions at all, please put them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them all. And if you got any value out of this video, please give it a thumbs up uh, so it'll push out further in YouTube and more people can get the same assistance that you got.